Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today I have a recipe for blueberry banana pancakes made in a crock pot. I used to do cooking recipes on my channel a really long time ago and I kind of miss doing it. So I'm probably gonna start doing them again, but maybe only like once a week or whenever I can. So let's get started. First, you're gonna mix together your dry ingredients. So I'm adding two cups of flour, a third cup of sugar, a tablespoon of baking powder, and then a half teaspoon of baking soda, salt, and cinnamon. And once you have all your dry ingredients in there, I gave it a really good mix and then set that aside. And as always, I will put in the description box below the full recipe, the book I got it from, all that good stuff. So once that was done mixing, I started with the wet ingredients. So I have two eggs, a teaspoon of vanilla, one and three fourths cup of milk. And then I do have a fourth a cup of butter that I melted. I added the butter last since it was a little bit warmer. I was adding it to cold stuff. I'm going to mix that together, try to break up the eggs a little bit, and then you can add the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients to form your batter. So typically I only make dinner type food in my crock pot, so this is my first experience making breakfast food, and it turned out pretty good. It's starting to look like blueberry cake making me hungry so it did say to add a cup of blueberries i bought the smallest amount i could at the store and it measured out to be about two cups so i just went ahead and added all of that to it um, but i waited until my batter was really well mixed and then you can fold in the blueberries and once you have that mixed really well Turn your crock pot on. I sprayed the inside really well with some non-stick spray. And then I added the batter. Then you're gonna put the lid on and cook it on high for two hours. And it turned out pretty good. A lot of the blueberries did kind of sink to the bottom. There was just only a few in the middle, um, probably just because they're so heavy. And around the edges did get a little crispy, so you probably could do a little less than two hours, but I like everything overcooked, my meat, my bread, like everything, so that didn't bother me. Um, but then when it was done, I sliced some bananas and drizzled it with syrup, and it was delicious. So if you guys wanna try this, I'll have the recipe below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.